and there's the mold right here and I just carved it out and put some little features in it tail etc and I'll just uh, get some stuff and I'll show you what I did now this is uh, aircraft safety wire that I use 32 you can that you can get that in different diameters so in this case it's 32 so I'll just do one snip it off here's a bit of wire now the object is to get the wire through this and you can see I got little little slots cut so the wire would go through each one so I'll put that in now and show you now I'll get the mold ready cut off a piece of wire however long you need it this is uh, the safe this is uh, safety wire pliers now on this this machine here I got a couple of pegs nails actually drove in that equals the length that the wire should be across the two ends so I just bring this up and start form a loop for those start form a loop for those pliers Oh, you see that or not? Anyway, those bars then just connect onto this, and they make their twist, and then you just cut that off right there. And then all I do then is just remove. Don't have that too tweet, and don't make any marks on the wire itself because that's where it's going to break if it breaks at all so now I also twist twist this a bit so I'll put pliers in here and you can twist that on that little pin or you can do it on the other pliers just by pulling So, and do both ends, both sides, and that will fit down in this little slot, right there with a little bit of maneuvering stuff, that will fit down there, that's the idea of it. Now, Okay, I got those all ready to go. I got them put in place to wire leads. That goes through the, the uh, hook. So, I'll put it back on now. And get them ready to pour. You can do that with a, uh, with a torch. This rig is not very good, I got here. Now you can use some, uh, every now and then, if you want, you can use some eye temp stuff to go along the edge there and down on the bottom. But most times the stuff is fairly cool by the time it reaches that stage. Okay, so now I need a, a clamp. And what I use is either the voice or... Uh, or a clamp. Now, looking at those that I got down here, you can use this in a voice or whatever. Um, put a couple of bolts through it if you want. But I use clamps anyway. It's just so I'm going to make four. I got those seated in. And one thing you got to do is make sure that those are uh, in the middle uh, of the of the uh, pour. What I do is just take it, make a twist on them, and that'll do it. Right there, okay, so we'll leave the torch now and get this lid melted. I got some lid in here, this is what I used on the last one a couple years ago, and I'm going to use this torch. 
but uh, you can melt this lid on a propane stove or whatever. Fairly simple to do. Don't have it too hot. Uh, you don't need to burn, just have it come to the melt. You know, I got this in, laid on top of the boys, and I'm going to start the melt process. It'll take a few minutes, probably. Start, starting to melt there now, so I'll get this ready. So I just ran out of lid. Okay, they're cool now. So I'm just going to take this apart rather than pour the other ones. I got them already done. And this is where I waste some some of the lid down there. You can use Babbitt too if you got any Babbitt around. So I'll just take this apart and have a look. See how they turned out. Now this is what we got, and they go down just like bullets when they sink. They go down perfect. You can't do much better than that. That one there is no good. He's just half done. But anyway, you can see how it works. And this is a fish. It's a fish right there. A fat fish. Okay, I hope you liked that one, and subscribe. It's for Kirk, always, and uh, they're good, they don't rust. You can put one on each hand if you want, with a swivel. Different size, right there. Out. Now this is the one I just, one of the ones I just poured. And that one is 74 grams. They go down just like a bullet. No tango, so they are good. You peel off those little pieces right there. Fins, leave the fins on, but most of it's good to go.